Welcome, and in this video, we're going to be running through the necessities of the 556 Icarus. Just everything that you need to know to get gold as quickly and easy as possible. That's running from my class setups to the game modes, just everything to make it nice and easy for you. Without further ado, though, let's get straight into the video. So, as always, we need to decide what game mode we're going to start in. Now, we've got three different game modes for you guys that's Invasion, Kill Confirmed and shoot house. The LMG will be comfortable in all three of them options, so pick the one that's best suited to you, because at the end of the day you want to enjoy it as much as possible. I've decided to go into shoot house, just because I think this game is a little bit slower and I like the fast paced engagement. But not only that, shoot house with a wide variety of game modes like kill confirmed, it allows you to level up the gun, but also complete a lot of the challenges at the same time. Now on to the class setup. First thing I just want to say is if you bought the more expensive version of the game, you're going to have a blueprint for this gun. Make sure you put that on if you don't have any attachment or any at all, because that's a nice easy way to get started. Feel free to copy this or make a few tweaks to see the play stuff, but mine I've just basically focused on aimed down sight speed. I'm going to show you guys quickly my custom loadout as well, so feel free to copy this. There isn't too much to really change, I think this is perfect for a game mode like Shoot House. Maybe Bomb Squad or Fast Hands, but apart from that, stick to something similar to this. Moving on to the challenges, the first one we've got is Olive, which is get 50 kills. No need to give you a guide on this one. What Skulls makes up the second challenge, and that's get 10 double kills. This is another challenge that you'll complete while leveling up the gun. If you haven't what? yet, then I recommend using Dead Silence. With the dodgy spawns in Shoot House, somewhere? you'll be able to get in behind the enemy and get two kills without them even realising. Moving on to the third challenge, this is where things start to get a little bit trickier. We've got Night Quarry, which is get 20 kills while mounted. Now, on a game mode like Shoot House, using an LMG, this isn't going to be as hard as some of the other guns. Just focus on holding them two lanes, or that nasty heady down the middle, and as you can see from these clips here, you've just got to be patient. Yes, it's boring and tedious, but the longer you just relax and get it done, you can move on to the next challenge. Moving on to the fourth challenge, which is Autumn Dazzle. Get 30 kills while crouched isn't that difficult, it's just more frustrating. You spend your whole life over crouch walking, crouching in a window, or sly cancelling them corners so you're nice and low and ready for the kill. Personally though, I do try and slide as much as I can, but I'll be honest, I find myself just slowly crouch walking everywhere, looking like the right tip. We're on to the final challenge now, which is gold, and as always, it is get 3 kills without dying 10 times. My advice for this one is always the same, and that's to try and not think about it. I know that's easier said than done, and doesn't sound helpful, but trust me, when it comes to this challenge, it's more based on your mental side. Try and play your natural playstyle as much as possible, and when you get to 2 kills, just completely slow it down. Now I don't mean overthink it, I just mean don't rush around that corner, hold the angle instead of challenging. The only reason I say this is because the more you get on 2 kills and die, the more frustrated you get, the quicker you play, and it's a very vicious cycle. Apart from that though guys, things like motion sensors, dead silence, just use perks and build up raids that can really help you get them extra kills. That's all for me in this video, if you have enjoyed it or you have found something useful don't forget to hit a like, and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure you smash that sub button, hopefully see you in the Weapon next one. Challenge complete.